How you doing, everybody? Welcome to Cover 2. Thanks for staying up late with us tonight. One week ago, we opened this program by saying the Packers lost late. Well, today, they won late. Just the second time in franchise history they win a game when trailing by 17 points entering the fourth quarter. But it also draws comparisons to another finish by a young quarterback in Lambeau Field. Dave Schrader begins our Cover 2 coverage tonight. Well, the Packers home opener certainly did not disappoint. The fans were quiet. The fans were booing for much of this one. But in the end, it's an epic comeback for Jordan Love, the first of his career coming in week three after being down 17 nothing in the fourth quarter. If you remember, Brett Favre's first comeback came in week three all those years ago, down 17-3 to the Bengals. And a moment like this can mean so much for a young quarterback finding his footing in the league and learning how to win. I think it just brings everybody closer together. Um, like I said, nobody, nobody flinched on the sideline out there. Um, at halftime, you know, the defense was telling us, we got you. Um, and that's exactly what they did. And, and offense stepped up in that fourth quarter and made plays. But uh, it's just, it feels great. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a confidence boost for the whole team to, to be able to pull that one off. The resiliency of that locker room was incredible. I have never seen anything like it. Uh, it's hard not to get too emotional about it. It was like a nightmare that went to a dream. It, it just, that whole fourth quarter was a blur. I've, I've never been a part of something like that before. Where it looked so bleak, but our guys continued to fight, continued to battle, and that's all you can ask of anybody. To me, that says something about those guys in that locker room. Just continuing to play ball, you know. I, again, I knew as a core, we all knew coming into this game that this back end was really physical. They're really handsy, and you know, things just was happening the way how they were, and in the end, we came out the win. Man, nothing in life is easy. Nothing in life is given to you. So. Uh, Sometimes you just got to take it. Things look to be at their darkest after a fourth down fail early in the fourth quarter to come up empty again. Well, that, that was frustrating. You know, we put a, we, a great drive together, um, and, you know, decided to go for it right there and, um, you know, came up empty handed. Um, so it, it definitely sucked um, going back to the sideline after that one. But nobody batted eye, nobody flinched. Um, you know, we knew there was still time left, there was still opportunity. Against all odds, the Packers made it happen. But when did Coach LaFleur really start to believe? I think after we got that two-point conversion, you know, you could just, a lot of time, I've been on the other side of that thing now. When that momentum flips, it's, it's a crazy phenomenon that you can't explain. And, yeah, I think there's just a lot of belief that we were going to find a way. As for that decision to go for two early after the first touchdown, not the second, well, I got this guy, Connor Lewis, in my ear nonstop saying, go for two, go for two. And to be honest with you, like, I didn't feel great about the play call. Uh, and then the execution definitely was not how we practiced it. Uh, but, you know, I had a lot of belief in just the way our quarterback was playing. And Green Bay did it all shorthanded. Five starters down on the pregame inactives. Devondre Campbell going down in the game. And on offense especially, they had to make do without. their starting left tackle, starting left guard, receiver, and running back. But still, Jordan Love found a way, and Matt LaFleur called the plays to get it done. At the Packers home opener, Dave Schrader, Action 2 Sports.